What is this? You know, I probably have this magazine downstairs somewhere. How about another blast from the past? Okay. Where the 16 years of development have gone into World of Warcraft. Released in 2004, no one really knew how much of a profound effect it would have on not only the MMO industry, but the gaming industry as a whole. People, places, and things change, but mm -hmm. with the recent re-release, Classic World of Warcraft has proven itself to be timeless, and people from all over the world have taken a trip. A back lot to the of past people are still playing the game, man. Uh, mods, there's obviously a, a bot that's doing that. And it's nostalgic glory. And it's also what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. PC Gamer, Volume 11, Issue 13, November 2004. A month that changed the world. That's of right. Warcraft. What was, what was I doing in 2004, November? I was playing Halo 2. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's whenever Halo 2 actually came out. Those were the days. I do have the actual physical issue. It's over here to the right, so let me just grab that real quick. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Should I? That's probably some dude. I had that in frame for that's you. Some, uh, that's some have... other dude, man. That's not him. Scan uploaded. That's not it. Yeah, right. Warcraft pages. And what's interesting is that this is one of two covers. Yep. Here you can see the Alliance version. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I could only find the stupid Horde version online. Ah, it's too Probably bad. Probably because they can't read, so they just sell it instead. <laughs> In total, from cover to back, it's <laughs> 136 Horde pages. Look that at this That is so guy. true. It's me or the games. Love, yep. Alicia. Well, sorry, honey. We got some levels to grind. That's right. What a gamer. Hell yeah, dude. You actually have a demo disc here as there well. There it is. It's kind of funny, though, that it's not even for a game, but rather an expansion pack. Uh-huh. So do you need the original game to even use this? Who the fuck even knows? What a strange knows? idea. I wonder if this would fire up on any modern computer. Yeah. Remember when you needed the actual disc for expansions? Yeah. Remember waiting outside of Best Buy for 10 hours before yep. launch in sub-zero temperatures? I so fucking clearly, Truly, man. the most time that many players spent in the outside world. Yep. Okay, screw that. I remember every time I would go uh, to one of the release events, I would talk to the people there, and every time the people that were at the release events were fucking, like, clueless about the game. Absolutely fucking clueless. Like, I remember there was one time I, like, talked to some guy who didn't even know that ICC dropped Frostworm Drakes. I'm like, this guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> like... I'm like, well, you know, you know, we're gonna fight Deathwing, right? Like, you know what that is? <laughs> and uh, who cares? Oh, uh, just me, whenever I was an elitist and wow, like, it was just funny. Let them enjoy the game. I do let them enjoy the game. Oh, yeah, they can enjoy the game. I didn't say anything to them that. I just thought to myself, like, wow, these guys really don't know a lot about the game. You know, it was surprising to me. Because, like, to me, like, all my friends, like, we played the game all the time. And, like, we talked to these, like, other, you know, like, normal people. And they didn't even know what the hell was going on. You came for World of Warcraft, so I'll give you World of Warcraft. Typical nerds. That, if you yeah, just want exactly. To read this yourself, I do have the scans uploaded in the description. Uh -huh. You should check it out. It's way too much to cover in one video. That's a I'll lot. I'll just hit the highlights here. Soon, the fog of war will be lifted, and thousands of mighty heroes will await you in an online world of myth, magic, and a legendary adventure. Wow. This is Warcraft like you've never seen it before, and wow. it's as good as it looks. Yeah, just look at those awesome N64 graphics. That's really good. Like, Mad Season can meme around about it all he wants, but that's really, like, back in the day, dude, back in the day, that was, you know, that was really, really good. Just count the pixels. Yeah. Soon, there will be nothing holding you back. It's like the throne room from for doxing wrong. people because they farmed more honor than you. Hey, dude. This issue is interesting because it's actually a guide. Which just begs to be made as a of. grand marshal. Like you just know that there's going to be some ridiculous, outdated crap in here. Yep. The game had just released, but of course the beta was raging on for many months, so that's why we'll see some screenshots of people in high-level gear. At this point, the author was a god amongst men, and most people starting off were brand new, not only to the game, but also the genre. Uh huh. And here we have proof that clickbait mentality existed way before YouTube. The twenty. Oh, dude. What do you mean? 
Like, it, how many times is sex not on the front page of the Cosmopolitan mag magazine or Cosmopolitan? I don't know how to even fucking say it. Like, they, they, of course, like they they clickbait always. Everybody, everybody always clickbaits. Things you absolutely must know before you begin playing. That's just awesome stuff right there. Yeah. Meds have shifted into the digital form, and it's the exact same shit. All we're missing, really, is someone giving their best impersonation of a blow-up doll. But surely, this must hold a treasure trove of ultimate gamer tips, such as this Night Elf High DPS Warrior. <laughs> wow. I just love how the first thing you see is the how worst wrong they were. class combination possible in the entire game for PvE uh -huh. and PvP. That's just beautiful. I actually do mean that, though. There's a certain beauty of no knowing what the best is. No, people yeah, people are just stupid just as hell. Figuring stuff they out have no idea. Own. With the advent of data mining and uh -huh. YouTube and the optimization mindset, it's a lost art and something I don't think we'll ever truly get back. Nah, it's Not done. Just with World of Warcraft, it's over. It's finished. This is a perfect template for soloing and for warriors who want to try an entirely different style of quote tank. Instead of trying to max armor, defense, and damage mitigation in general, you're more of a rogue-styled mm -hmm. warrior. This is just great because today, 90% of the raiding warriors are oh, wearing leather. in leather gear. Yeah, exactly. It's more alluding to a bit yeah, of these, a Yeah, this guy was just style. ahead of his time. Ah, the last art of the hybrid spec. I'm really? telling you, like, dude, people back then, you guys don't understand, people back then were so bad at games. They were so absolutely fucking terrible at games. And you need to keep that in mind, man. They were it's garbo. You, tank, you DPS or you heal, current or classic. Absolute the fucking of garbo. Trade and master of none is laughed out of the party. And yep. it's sad. This is one of the many victims crushed under the yoke of hyper optimization of and course. min maxing. It represents more of an innocent time of just randomly throwing in points like yeah. blindfolded darts. Your value as a player wasn't just boiled down to a number. And due to everyone's poor knowledge of the game at the time, you could get away with stuff like this. Yep. It is a bit ahead of its time, though, in the sense that it's basically a DPS warrior tank. Everybody goes crazy about Fury Prod, where that you forego a shield and defense in exchange for more threat. That's a, yeah, that it's a great spec. Vanilla. Well, it did for this guy. Yep. Here are the actual talents. It's more centered around an arms tanking build rather than Fury, though. Yeah. And remember, this is launch day, so check out the 1.1 talent calculator. Oh I'll have a link god. in the description if you're really curious. Oh Strengths, my god, dude. Exciting play style. It was not good was back then, man. The I'll tell you that People for laugh sure. At the rotations not good. Today, but as I've said in many videos, this was impeccable design compared to the other reigning MMOs at the mm -hmm. time. When your competitor uses a Q system for combat, anything looks good in comparison. Trust me. So bad, dude. I remember like looking at the other old MMOs back then, and I thought to myself, I was like, this these games are fucking terrible like there's literally a zero percent chance that i would ever want to play any of those games like I, I saw the uh i saw like this game i don't know really when this one came out i remember like watching everquest and like seeing like these other games and the graphics were just so fucking bad and the games are just like so slow and scuffed that i just had literally zero interest in playing them like, WoW was the first one that I ever really saw for an MMO and actually, like, got genuinely excited about. Back then, it was a finely tuned masterpiece. Yeah. And while the rotations themselves have certainly shown their age, yeah. the actual combat and damage feedback feels as good as ever. It and certainly does. if there's anything does. that's timeless with the game, it's that. Big true, so It just so feels real. good to hit stuff. Yeah. Here's a fun little exercise. The famed 20 things you must know. Pause the video here and score yourself. Did you know all 20 of these? Let me see. Numlock is auto run. Yep, I know that. WASD is to move. T targets the closest enemy. Well, I have that rekey bound, so that's not really the same thing. But tab does. Uh, shift B opens up all your bags. And that monster comes up red, will attack you. Pull spells and abilities in your hot bar. Most trainers are in capital cities. Well, actually, we don't know about that one anymore. That one's gone. Uh, different icons in your pointer diff indicates different types of NPCs. M opens your map. You can't put spaces in your name. You don't have to equip your skinning knife. Left click on item or, or chat. Okay, so how to link things. Murlocs are evil. Never, never doubt this. Very true. Not all races can speak to one another. Right mouse button controls the camera. True. Uh, key to inventory management. Oh, yeah, I know that one. 
purchasing an item, you'll need to pull co Wait, what? When purchasing an item from another player, you will need to pull coins from your backpack? Yo, that shit ain't real. Yeah, that that's that's not in the game anymore. Uh, if your breath gauge expires in water, so do you immediately. Well, I guess they changed that. It's not in the game anymore. Different colored items vary in quality. Just the most group. The tough guys need to go to the front. <laughs> okay. All right. We're scored 20 for 20 there. Do you consider them a must to know? Yeah. Like, uh, you can pull abilities from your spell book. To not your too much. Bar. Laugh all you want at this. Yeah, not anymore, series, dude. You know that I had a friend who apparently didn't read this issue because he went to level 30 clicking uh -huh. abilities in his spellbook. All right, open up this frostbolt. Oh, crap, aggro. All right, arcane tab. Let's blink oh out of here. Oh, nice. I'm so good at this game. Yeah, oh people were God. actually this bad at the game. Yep. And it was absolutely beautiful. Yep. Here we see that undead could speak the common language. And by the way, back then, the spellbook took up a larger percentage of your screen because you were playing 4x3. So it's not like now where you're playing on a fucking 4K monitor and the spellbook is this big. No, spellbook was like this fucking big. It was half your goddamn screen. Even the only race capable of cross-faction communication at mm -hmm. the time. That all stopped when you had situations like this where this mage would lure in poor newbies outside of Red Ridge to a yeah. trainer who doesn't exist so he could pyroblast them in the mouth. There it is, but dude. what are these special items he's talking about? Maybe they're for streamers only. It's actually a pretty detailed That's guide. That's good. Even going over professions, yeah. how to use abilities, and even where to keybind abilities. Streamer only items. That hey, sounds wait awesome. A second. Professions, yeah, blacksmithing I'm down for that. and mining, hot bar bombs, turbo guide, zero of ten, <laughs> thumbs down. Rend is very rage efficient. It's often a good investment. Okay, enough of the warrior guide. Ooh, dude. The whole thing is a joy to read, though. Oh, and I implore dude. you to read the scans. I wish I could cover it all, but with how much I digress, it would be a four-hour video. Yeah, exactly. There's Screen a lot. Screenshots are in a class of their own. If you're low on cash, stick to places where food is plentiful. Mm -hmm. That's just beautiful. Warrior leveling summed up in one perfect sentence. And here we have another eerily accurate prediction. Druid. Backup healer. Sorry, guys. Hunters, yeah. powerful, consistent pets, notable range damage, and pulls literally everything. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, some hey guys, things do never change. look at change. this cool shaman. You like this human shaman running around? Wow. Remember, horde only. Wow. Oh, here's my favorite. The best tip for leveling a warrior. Yep. Join a group. Not only is Rend instant. That sounds, you know, that just really makes you feel better about being a warrior. You know, if you want to level a warrior... Have somebody else help you. <laughs> Fuck, man. But it's also extremely efficient. Damn, this guy really likes Ren. War yeah, warriors are Who good at like taking doing damage. doesn't damage every three seconds? Awesome. Come on. One thing I really like about this guide as a whole, though, is that it has such a heavy emphasis on interacting with other players. Yeah. Group if you're having trouble, or make friends with a blacksmith. Yeah. Do favors for people since they might give you a buff. Yeah. It's a lost art in the game today, and it's a sad state that this interaction is avoided because all quests are soloable, and things such as shared mob tagging, dungeon finder, yeah, it doesn't even matter at all. Finder, and cross realm that just alienates the players from each other. When you create a need for this player interaction, you create a need for a community. When you have a community, you have an MMO. You bring the value of you as a person to a group. Any efficient builds or gameplay can be looked over if you're enjoyable to play with. And it's a sad state of affairs today that people are so deathly afraid of covenants not being balanced or efficient, so they'll get booted from groups and raids. Yep. They've balanced out or otherwise removed critical social structures of the game for the sake of this ultra convenience and making friends is the new legendary rarity. Since there's no community, you're now just a number. You as a person bring no value to an average yep. group, which is just a depressing thing in a yep. community oriented genre. Yep. You see another player, charge first and then rend. Oh, Jesus Christ with the rend. Does this guy? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I really do feel like... I'd like to see Blizzard bring back genuine elite quests. Because, like, now elite quests are... The difference between an elite and a non-elite is the elite will take longer to die. That's it. And all the rest of it is, like, kind of whatever. 
uh, it doesn't matter as much. So I'd really like to see them put a little bit more focus on like giving players more opportunities to actually like have a reason to play together. Because I think the reason why people played together in Classic WoW is because they had to. It's not like, oh, well, because, you know, they wanted to and people were more social back then. No, it's because you're going in there. There's 40 gnolls over there. You're one dude. And the moment that you pull one, let's see you kill that one. Well, then he runs away and aggroes three more. And then as they're running back, they aggro another fourth one. And you know what? You're fucking dead. That's what the difference is. Like, I remember, like, that's why you'd group up is because you had to. Like, the game was hard. Like, leveling in Classic is much fucking harder than Retail. Like, I'm sorry to say, but, like, leveling in Classic is much more challenging than Retail while leveling. And there's it's much more demanding. There are more things that you need to do, more, uh, you know, degrees of, like, understanding you need to have. It's longer. No, I think that it's also, I think that it's also harder. Like, the level of competency you need to have in your character is higher. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you need to have a higher level of competency. I have the rend icon but definitely on longer. body somewhere. Guys, don't use rend ever, unless it's a rogue, okay? Yeah, true. It actually does give some pretty prudent advice, though. I swear that some players, even today, would benefit from reading this. Yeah. Also, don't be afraid to spam buttons. Some things and never change. And they also do the same build and guide for an undead yeah. priest. Leveling as holy and discipline. Off to another great start. Oh boy. But maybe I shouldn't say that because during the time the game was fresh and dungeons had to be popping all the time. So I'm sure it was fine. Just group reliant. And again, community oriented. Yeah, so a lot of people would the like, they would just gear for being for sure. in groups all the time. It wasn't really about leveling as fast as possible. The first level 60, in fact, mm -hmm. was a dude named Zenith. A troll rogue who hit it on December 3rd, 2004, which is, is much the first guy? by standard, but still a legend during his time. Yeah, is that the first guy? And here again, we see another quirk of the undead. Alliance priests can shackle you. Undead players were of the undead type, so you couldn't fear them, sap them, or polymorph, but yeah. you could shackle or paladin fear. Something that never made it to release, though. No, it's, it's too, like, it's just too imbalanced, right? Like... I can see why they got rid of that, but that would have been kind of cool. I, I, I don't know. Like, th there's like a part of me that would want that and a part of me that wouldn't. It's like the uh, the fantasy part of me would want to and the lore part of me would not. Uh, that, that's pretty much what the difference is. And here we see them talking about the combat res. Yes, every healer had a combat res back then. But it's deemed to be too OP, so it was removed for everyone but really? the druid. And consequently, it's why they never got a normal resurrect. Wow. And boom, there you have it. I didn't even Priests know that. Priests are the best healers in World of Warcraft. True in 2004. There it is. True in 2020. Ooh, Priests are and here very we go. Good. A glossary of terms. Uh oh. Wait, no KYS? Well, that's <laughs> inaccurate. It's funny to see how many of these stuck, though, yeah. and which ones didn't. Like Mez. Mez was, uh, I think that's kind of like a holdover from, uh, what do you call it? From, from EverQuest. So you didn't have that from back in the day. Yeah, that, yeah Mesmerize, that's like an EQ holdover. First spells and sexy voiced YouTubers that incapacitated target, such uh -huh. as, uh, sleep. Uh, well, okay, maybe that one is true. Yeah. But hey, be nice to me. Oh, wow. Here's an interesting one. Mauled. To react angrily to something. Such as a YouTube video, for instance. This is like the third video today. Yeah, it's like the third one. Like, it's like one thing. It's like there's one video. And like everybody else, you know, it's like a little joke, you know, goof, hoo hoo hoo. But nope. You got this shit now. You are the meme. I am the meme, dude. There's fucking like I I'm one of the punchlines in the video. That's great. The font's different. Yeah, I know it's I know it might sound crazy, but it's photoshopped. I know it might be a surprise. Actually, Molly, I'm not molding. I'm just saying. Okay. You hmm, guys are real weird. fucking clever. One thing is for sure, though. After you've been mezzed by my voice, yeah. you'll definitely be grinding and pulling your root. At the end, we have some really nice maps for Elwyn and Tearsfall. Okay. 
Showing points of interest. Okay. Rares, trainers, vendors. Sure. Really useful at the time, I'm sure. Thank you. I guess screw the other races, though. Mm -hmm. You guys are on your own. But wait, what about my Night Elf High DPS Warrior? Yeah, what about that? That's about it, though. Like I said, the scans are in the description. When you have 30 minutes or so, go ahead and give it a read. It's a wild ride. All things considered, I think they did pretty well. I wonder if whoever wrote this still plays. Have they checked out Classic? Did they use Rend? I hope not. All in all, the entire magazine is nostalgia overload. Yeah, dude. A time capsule that reeks of teenage angst and acne. Yeah. One thing that caught me by surprise is the yep. amount of ads there are. Like, you think YouTube plays ads like crazy? There are yep. literally streaks of 10 to 15 pages of ads in this one issue. Holy shit, I didn't even notice that. Oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah, there's a lot. I, I didn't I never even noticed that back in the day because like I wanted to see what the ads were because the ads were like cool new games. Uh, I didn't even realize that they were ads. I was like, okay, yeah, PC gamer, they're gonna show PC games. Like that's yeah, we liked the ads back then. What what, what happened, man? Now people yeah. What is this? That's how they announce games. It's so weird how much different it was back then. And then, you know what's even weirder is whenever you think about back then wasn't really that long ago. It's like you think like back then was like, oh, you know, back in the fucking 60s, this is how we did it. Bro, this is like 15 years ago. That's crazy. Nintendo Power? Yeah, I used to, uh, I had a subscription to Nintendo Power for over 10 years. Like, I still have like some of the old like, uh, you know, I think probably the earliest edition of Nintendo Power I have is probably like episode like 17 or something like that. But I have like a lot of the Super Nintendo Nintendo Powers and, and all of that stuff, man. Like I've kept and I've kept every single magazine. I threw away a lot of my other old ones that I like stopped really paying as much attention to. But I've kept every single Nintendo Power magazine I've ever had. It's like 50% advertisements. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, and check this beast out. Intel Pentium 4. Mm. 530 HT technology. 512 MB DDR yeah, and a Radeon X300 oh ready and loaded with Windows XP and only for $13.95 and no the wow. website is gone unfortunately wow, I checked dude. it's long gone oh my God. so too are the days of our lives it's a little fun Penny and four, a little dude. melancholic I remember Penny and 4 was a big fucking deal back then and a little beautiful it's a special thing to be able to relive yeah. long forgotten memories of friends, places, or games. Okay, I think that's one I'm of the depressed. reasons why people love classics so much. Yeah. You can bicker all day about game design, balance, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. For some, it simply takes them back to a time where their life was more simple. Your worry wasn't paying the next bill or worrying about the health of yourself or your loved ones. Your real worry was making sure that Rend was leveled up so you could beast on some fools. That's what it was all about, in my opinion, right? It's like, I think that's why a lot of people get, like, super fucking, super nostalgic over classic. Like, whenever I think about old age, yeah. Like, think about whenever you were, like, 16, right? If you were playing WoW back then. Like, this is me. Um, you know, for me, I was 16. Um, so, number one, you're 16. You're not doing anything. Your parents are probably in a better state than they are now. You have probably, in general, more friends because you're going to school, on average. You have less concerns and less responsibilities. You have more hair. You have less of a belly. And just generally, you're less concerned about your health. Shut up, Baldy. Okay. Okay something that should be looked on with fondness not sadness and just as you remember those days take special note of the moments you have today and those around you because 15 years from now you'll be doing the same damn thing yep farewell for now mortals we hope you enjoyed today's video see you again soon hello oh hello What's up, dude? Uh, not much. I, can you? All right, get this. Uh -huh. I've been streaming for seven hours, and I haven't done anything. Oh, so it's just like a normal stream? 